Oh, great. You called him. But I had to. You wouldn't listen. You just kept mansplaining it away. I was science-splaining. And I told you it's a computer glitch. We don't need a magic man. Dr. Byron Orpheus, master metaphysician, president and founder of the Order of the Triad. Yes, hello, Orpheus. I know you. Oh, do you? Seven unaccepted friend requests would suggest otherwise. Never said I was your friend. You are indeed. The Venture Brothers and the Curse of the Haunted Problem is the first episode of Season 7 and Part 1 of 3 of what is known as the Morphic Trilogy. It first aired on August 5th, 2018, and was written by Jackson Public. In it, Ventec Tower seems to be haunted. Despite the fact that Dr. Venture has a scientific explanation for everything going on, Dean calls upon Dr. Orpheus for help. Meanwhile, Wide Whale does everything he can to make it difficult for Hank and Serena to continue dating. <laughs> The statue in this scene of Pazuzu is taken, name and all, straight from the 1973 film The Exorcist. JJ says, Well, I know Robert Langdon, but that ugly customer probably has something to do with the so-called cursed temple the locals were babbling about. Robert Langdon is the fictional professor of history of art and symbology in several Dan Brown books, including The Da Vinci Code. Typically, I try not to explain things that the show gives you the full necessary context to understand, but since it's featured so prominently in this episode, I'll say that Sharky's Machine is a movie from 1981 starring Burt Reynolds. The song featured in this episode is called Street Life by the band The Crusaders and was used prominently in Sharky's Machine. This scene has caused some confusion for fans, myself included. According to the commentary, Hank's hyperventilating at the start of the scene is due to the fact that he just prematurely ejaculated and not that he was nervous about sex with Serena. Later in the scene, Serena refers to him as Usain Bolt, an Olympian sprinter, because Hank reached orgasm quickly, not because he was making a quick getaway. The scene in which Hank gets fired from his job and subsequently gifted a pizza comes straight out of The Godfather Part 2. Vito. As the order of the triad arrives in New York City, Al says, New York! Just like that picture! Skyscrapers and everything! which is lifted from a Stevie Wonder song called Living for the City. Wow. New York, just like I pictured it. Skyscraper and everything. Pete White sarcastically references Acid Burn and Zero Cool, helping him to bypass the encryption. Acid Burn and Zero Cool were characters from the 1995 movie Hackers. <laughs> The episode opens with a flashback to the discovery of the crashed Gargantua 1 space station, which was the catalyst for the events of the Season 2 episode, Guess Who's Coming to State Dinner. Among the wreckage, JJ finds the problem light, which calls back the second episode of the entire series, Careers in Science. So what's the problem? The light went on. Oh, that's helpful. And speaking of problem, that word appears written on Dean's stomach, which Dr. Venture explains away with science as residual nanobots, which first entered Dean's body just a few episodes earlier in Faking Miracles. <laughs> In this episode, we find out about the Great Venture Millinery Fire of 1907, which calls back the fact that Dr. Venture's great-grandfather was a milliner, which we first learned in Escape to the House of Mummies Part 2. I'm a super scientist. My father was a super scientist, his father was a super scientist, and his father was... No, wait, no, I think he was a milliner. And finally, this episode features the return of Enrico Matassa, the alter ego Hank created to appear criminally insane back in Season 5's Mama's Boys. And I'm Enrico Matassa, Latin playboy and insane egomaniac. My name means Hank Hank, and I'm also using a hank of yarn as a weapon. Also, this is a huge hanky.
if there was some way you weren't aware of this already, I love the Venture Brothers. And the Morphic Trilogy is far and away my favorite Venture Brothers thing ever. Which makes it kind of hard to have unique thoughts about each of these episodes beyond, hey, remember when the Order of the Triad showed up in New York City in the blood vessel? That was awesome. Hey, remember when there were all those ghosts and we learned about the Great Venture Millinery Fire? That was awesome. For an episode that's largely set up, this episode is just jam-packed with really cool shit. And that reveal at the end that the problem light is the problem light and Jonas's head is inside? Absolute jaw-dropper. I love the Morphic Trilogy. And I love the Venture Brothers. As always, thank you for watching and go Team Venture. Tune in next week for the Rorkwall Affair. If you dug this video, share it with a friend. And if there was some huge glaring thing that I missed in this video, follow me on Instagram at VentureVerseGuide to see these videos a week early and offer your input before I upload the final product.